Welcome to Bedtime Stories. Please make sure you press subscribe to get notified of new stories. And of course, share this story with a friend. And now, the classic story of Little Sammy. Once upon a time, there was a small boy, and his name was Little Sammy. Sammy had a mother he called Mummy, and a father he called Big Papa. And Mummy made him a beautiful little red coat, and a pair of beautiful little blue trousers. And Big Papa went to the bazaar and bought him a beautiful green umbrella, and a lovely pair of purple shoes with crimson soles and crimson linings. And then wasn't little Sammy handsome. So he put on all his fine clothes and went for a walk in the jungle. While he was out, he met a tiger, and the tiger said to him, Little Sammy, I'm going to eat you up. And little Sammy said, Oh, please, Mr. Tiger, don't eat me up, and I'll give you my beautiful little red coat. So the tiger said, Very well, I won't eat you up this time. But you must give me your beautiful little red coat. So the tiger got poor little Sammy's beautiful little red coat and went away saying, Now I'm the grandest tiger in the jungle. And little Sammy went on, and after a while he met another tiger, and it said to him, Little Sammy, I'm going to eat you up. And Sammy said, Oh, please, Mr. Tiger. Don't eat me up, and I'll give you my beautiful little blue trousers. So the tiger said, Very well, I won't eat you up this time, but you must give me your beautiful little blue trousers. So the tiger got poor little Sammy's beautiful little blue trousers, and went away saying, Now I'm the grandest tiger in the jungle. And little Sammy went on, and after a while he met another tiger, and it said to him, Little Sammy, I'm going to eat you up. And little Sammy said, Oh, please, Mr. Tiger, don't eat me up, and I'll give you my beautiful little purple shoes with crimson soles and crimson linings. But the tiger said, What use would your shoes have to me? I've got four feet, and you've only got Two, you haven't got enough shoes for me. But little Sammy said, You could wear them on your ears. So I could, said the tiger. That's a very good idea. Give them to me, and I won't eat you up this time. So the tiger got poor little Sammy's beautiful purple shoes with crimson soles and crimson linings and went away saying, Now I'm the grandest tiger in the jungle. And Sammy went on, and after a while he met another tiger, and it said to him, Little Sammy, I'm going to eat you up. And little Sammy said, Oh, please, Mr. Tiger, don't eat me up, and I'll give you my beautiful green umbrella. But the tiger said, how can I carry an umbrella when I need all my paws for walking? You could tie a knot on your tail and carry it that way, said little Sammy. So I could, said the tiger. Give it to me, and I won't eat you up this time. So he got poor little Sammy's beautiful green umbrella and went away saying, now I'm the grandest tiger in the jungle. And poor little Sammy went away crying, because the cruel tigers had taken all his fine clothes. Then Sammy heard a horrible noise that sounded like a growl, and it got louder and louder. Oh dear, said little Sammy, there are all the tigers coming back to eat me up. What shall I do? So he ran quickly to a palm tree and peeped around to see what was the matter. And there he saw all the tigers fighting and disputing 
which of them was the grandest. And at last they got so angry that they jumped up and took off all their fine clothes and began to tear each other with their claws and bite each other with their big white teeth. And they came rolling and tumbling right to the foot of the very tree where little Sammy was hiding. But he jumped quickly behind the umbrella. Then the tigers all caught hold of each other's tails. As they wrangled and scrambled, the tigers got tiny and far away. Little Sammy jumped up and called out, Oh, tigers, why have you taken off all your nice clothes? Don't you want them any more? But the tigers only answered with a growl. Then little Sammy said, If you want them, say so, or I'll take them away. But the tigers would not let go of each other's tails, and so they could only say, Grrr. The tigers were very, very angry, but they still wouldn't let go of each other's tails. They were so angry that they ran around, trying to eat each other up, and they ran faster and faster till they were whirling around so fast that they couldn't see their legs at all. And they still ran faster and faster and faster till they just melted away. And then there was nothing left but a great big pool of melted butter around the foot of the tree. Now Big Papa was just coming home from work with a great big brass pot in his arms. And when he saw what was left of the tigers, he said, Oh, what lovely melted butter! I'll take that home to Mummy for her to cook with. So he put all into the great big brass pot and took it home to Mummy to cook with. When Mummy saw the melted butter, she was pleased. Now we'll all have pancakes for supper, she said. So she got flour and eggs and milk and butter, and she made a huge big plate of the most lovely pancakes you've ever seen. And she fried them in the melted butter, which the tigers had made, and they were just as yellow and brown as little tigers. When they sat down for supper, Mummy ate twenty-seven pancakes. Big Papa, he ate fifty-five. But little Sammy, he ate one hundred and sixty-nine pancakes because he was so hungry. Thank you for listening to Bedtime Stories. Please make sure you subscribe to follow us for new stories and leave a rating. If you enjoyed today's story, forward it to a friend. If you have a suggestion for a new story, send us an email. magicmonorail at gmail dot com. Until next time, good night. Would you like to make a podcast? Spotify has a way to let you make one easily, distribute it everywhere, and even earn money all in one place for free. It's called Spotify for Podcasters, and here's how it works. Spotify for Podcasters lets you record and edit right from your phone or computer, so you can start creating today. Then you can distribute your podcast to Spotify and everywhere else podcasts are heard. And video podcasts are also available on Spotify. With Spotify for Podcasters, you can earn money in a variety of ways, including ads and podcast subscriptions. And best of all, it's totally free. You know, ever since I discovered Spotify for Podcasters, I've enjoyed sharing my favorite stories with children around the world. If you've ever thought of starting your own podcast, download the Spotify for Podcasters app or go to spotify.com forward slash podcasters to get started. Thank mm-hmm. you.